What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. If you guys missed my first player review of the day, it was an Inform Totti review. I would really appreciate if you could go back and watch it if you missed it. We're going to be looking at Inform Neymar, but you, you probably will be wondering why I'm talking this fast. is because that's how fast this guy fucking runs. Anyway, if you guys are looking for coin, check out UT Coin Trades. The link will be in the description below. And Neymar, this... All the gameplay you're about to see is from their 360. I'm going to thank Finch for lending me this team and lending me Neymar to be able to bring you guys the video. His link will be in the description as well. So, the patch came out on the 360 and I was worried that, like, you know, finesse shots are going to be nerfed and so on and so forth. But, to my surprise, everything remains the same. I don't even know what the patch did. Anyway, let's begin and talk about Neymar. He has 5 star weak foot and 5 stars kills. This is so important in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team in my opinion and scoop turn is still pretty overpowered and he's a decent finisher in the penalty area but when you're taking power shots he missed a shit ton of power shots but when you're taking finesse shots they're pretty much amazing. This is after the patch guys. Finesse shots are still pretty much broken. Now he is an extremely fast player. I can't tell you how fast this guy really is. He's probably one of the fastest players that I have tried in Ultimate Team this year. He has amazing agility and probably the easiest player I have tried to dribble with. He's just super effective in this game. I really enjoyed using him. Even in a left winger position, he suited that role really well to cut in with. It was so easy just to cut in because he's so agile and so fast and his finesse shots are amazing. But power shots are a bit on the weak side. It is decent, nothing too amazing. He has uh, decent passing as well. So when you want to cross it to your striker, he has decent passing attributes as well. Now onto the main thing I really dislike about him and that is he is so weak. I can't tell you guys how weak this guy is. The video will show it all. He's just so damn weak. As soon as the defender touches him, he is on the ground. If you are good at dribbling, you will love Inform Neymar. But if you suck at dribbling and skilling, you're going to have a very hard time even liking Neymar. Unless you're going to try and pace abuse with him. But pace isn't that important much. Well, not really important as much as it used to be. So... That is pretty much it. That, that's the only thing I really disliked about Inform Neymar. He's just so damn weak. And as you guys know, strength is a big factor in this game. But if you can take advantage of all his positives, you could, you know, make a very deadly force up front with Inform Neymar. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd really appreciate a like from you guys. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section below who you would like me to review next. Should I recommend Inform Neymar? I really loved him because he was so easy to dribble the wall with and scoop turn galore and finesse shots galore. That's why I would recommend him. But if you can't skill or if you can't dribble with him, then you're going to have a hard time liking him. Now, before I end the review, if you guys could answer this question, it would be awesome. Who is your favorite five-star skiller in FIFA 14 Ultimate Team. This would be amazing if you could, if you guys could answer it. And also, let me just summarize everything about Neymar. One of the best dribblers I have used in FIFA 14. Decent finisher, 5-star weak foot, 5-star skill, decent shot power, really good finesse shot, very fast, awesome agility, and decent passing. Now, his negative, the only one that I really disliked, and that's the only thing I had a problem with, is he is extremely weak. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you have a very nice day.